hey ladies if you want to see how I got this curly kind of messy bun then just keep watching okay so I just got out of the shower and um, I just threw on a t-shirt so I could do this video for you guys um, my hair this is third day hair um, the first day I wore it down and curly and um, I made sure I had enough stuff in it and then that night I put it in a pineapple up tight and I wrapped it and then I went to sleep and then I woke up the next day and I just wet it and then I wore, I wore it big and curly again and then that night I just threw it in a ponytail because I knew there was it either way it doesn't matter my third day hair I can't wear it out in curly well sometimes I can but um, I knew that night that I wouldn't be able to. Um, so yeah, I just took a shower. I put it in a shower cap and then I took a shower that way. Um, my face is totally broken out. It, you can just see like everywhere. My hormones are getting back into how they're supposed to be um, since from being pregnant and then, you know, I was still breastfeeding and everything. So um, what I've been using for my face is the St. Ives Naturally Clear Apricot Scrub Blemish and Blackhead Control. This is what it looks like. I just got it from Walmart. Um, it's like an exfoliating scrub. It really has like, it. I don't know what it is. I think it's apricot that's in it. Well, I know apricot's in it, but I don't know what the the little rock things are. I don't know if that's apricot or what, but um, it's almost like, it has like a sandy texture but like in a pasty form. So I really, really like it. I do see improvements on my face and I really like it. So that's what I did in the shower. Of course I washed my body, but I didn't do anything to my hair and I just washed my face. Um, yeah, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and take my hair down. Be prepared. <laughs> um, the TV's just on. I'm going to go ahead and spray it. And this is just water in the spray bottle, in my spray bottle. And I just got it from, um, I think I got it from Walmart. Walmart or the Dollar Tree, one of the two. And I'm just gonna rub the water in. Pretty much it. So I'm just scrunching the water in. And now I'm going to shake up my Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Style Milk. Um, it's one of my favorite things. Uh, got it from Target. They're super cheap. I mean, like, I don't think any of their products cost more than ten dollars. So I'm just rubbing this in the bottom part. Mm, nothing fancy. Kind of like scrunching it in, all this type of stuff. I don't really do the top part because I'm gonna slick that back. So just kind of do the outer. Just... My hair should be. It's not really that dry, but it's you know, pretty much dry enough. <laughs> kind of shaking my hand. But yeah, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a scrunchie, just a regular scrunchie, the tightest one that I can find um, out of my scrunchies. And then I have some jam. And this is what I use for jail. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take about this much and I'm going to rub it in my hands and then I'm going to do this. I'm going to kind of push it up because we're going to do a high ponytail. And put it on the back. Get your kitchen girl. The naps. Okay. Um, and I love the way this stuff smells. I can't even describe it, but it smells really good. Okay, and I'm gonna take some water 
and I just spray it on my hands because it kind of gives you more control of where it goes and I just kind of throw it on top of it. Okay, and now kind of brush your hair back. I just have this goodie brush that I've had since I was a baby. Um, I haven't found a brush to smooth my hair back with that I like this much, or that I like as much as this one. This is my favorite brush. My mom used to use it on my hair when I was little, and I just still use it. Um, just kind of brush it up. You know, you can put a part in your hair, you can do whatever you want. Um, I noticed that my hair kind of gets like, I push it back right there, so if your hair will let you, kind of like brush it through, but mine won't let me. And I know that I'm going to have to just rake through it when, like, I take a shower and wash it. So, I mean, if you're fine with that, just go ahead and do it. Okay, now I'm going to flip upside down. Don't laugh, I have my pajama pants on. But, um, these are the pants I put on because I'm not wearing this to where I'm going. So, flip upside down. Get your kitchen, boo. Get all the that. You hear my brush hitting on the nips? <laughs> okay. Take your rubber band and then put it in a high ponytail. Kind of pull your ponytail to tighten it. Okay, and what I like to do is I like to make sure this is all smooth still, which mine is not. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, now flip back. Now you've got your high ponytail. If you want to wear it like this, you can, but I'm not. As you see, this one is like all stretched out. So grab your naps and then kind of twist them a little bit and then just start putting it around. I don't really twist it all, but you know, some of it needs to be twisted. Crap, twisting it the wrong way. This is what you have, and then what I like to do is put my hair scrunchie around it, like so. Okay, and then I like to turn it. Then take some bobby pins, or you could take another hair scrunchie if you want to. Um, and I like to pin the hair down. Um, you probably can't see, but I'm putting it through the bun, and then I'm attaching it to my scalp and kind of to the hair scrunchie. curls that are sticking up or anything you can handle those then what I do is I take my mega hairspray um, I think yeah this is flexible hold by Aussie I absolutely love Aussie products um, and I just spray some on my hand and just kind of work it on there and you can get 
your brush and kind of brush it again if you need to. And I have these weird baby hairs that don't want to stay down. It's really annoying. So I'm just going to go ahead and spray it like for real, for real spray it. Most of the time I can get away with just spraying some on my hands. But for some reason these little baby's hairs where I have my new growth it's just not wanting to stay down. So I'm gonna just hold it for a second. Okay, they are not wanting to stay down. Get your life together, little curl. Spray my bud. spray it a lot and I mean your bun doesn't need to be perfect you have curly hair it's not gonna be smooth like somebody's with straight hair so I mean just go with the messy look you know um, kind of pull it out if you want to if this is too loose for you then all you have to do is add another scrunchie or add more um, bobby pins to your hair so and then these little pieces you can just let them curl do whatever you want to do with them this is a hairstyle that I wear sometimes when I'm going somewhere and I have third day hair or if I'm going to the gym or if I you know have a date you could wear it like this but with being a curly girl you can't really not have your curls you know so it's not supposed to be straight like um, somebody with straight hair would have their bun which would be straight and you don't even have to wear a sock with it because you get the big um, bun that you would get if you wore a sock so this is what the top of my bun looks like from the side and from the other side and then there's the back so yeah I hope you can see that that's just pretty much what I do and it's a quick easy hairstyle and it's also a good style for um, or if you're in the process of growing your hair out from heat damage or and it's more of a I wouldn't say it's a protective hairstyle because I didn't use all natural products or anything but yeah um anyways thank you so much for watching this video make sure you like subscribe and comment if you have any questions bye ladies